You're watching I for You News. Hey guys, it's actually the second day that the floor is officially up and we're standing here in the press room and we ran into some really kick-ass girls. They are the PMS clan, which actually started out as psychotic manslayers, but it was later changed to Pandora's Mighty Soldiers. So we're going to ask them a few questions. How are you guys doing? Good, thank you. It's happy to be here. So I heard that you got picked up by Verizon all last year, so tell me about how that happened. Well, Verizon was looking to support the gaming community this year, and or this last year, and they started doing a lot of things. Um, not only did they come in and support uh, our organization, which we'd like to think is a great way to show their support of women in gaming, but they also uh, came into the gaming community by showcasing new gaming platforms like Playlink, which is kind of a mix of messaging with voice and game storage, as well as game server options, um, which they thought would appeal to the gamers. It really actually does, especially the PC community can actually go in and launch their own server on Playlink and not have to pay 30, 40 bucks a month for their own servers. And the server will just disappear when they close the game after they don't want to have it anymore. Um, and then they also um, are laying um, Fios all over the country, which is every gamer's dream. 50 megs, I think, right, ladies? 50 megs, uh, yeah, for connection versus my two with Roadrunner. I mean, Fios is worth moving for. <laughs> yeah. So it, it, w it made perfect sense. It was a great uh, combination for any gamer, really, with Fios and, uh, and with online gameplay like our organization is. So how did you guys get selected to be part of the Verizon, you know, hooked up with Verizon and PMS? Um, well, I think they were doing some research on organizations and ran across our name. Um, uh, we try as much as we can to be professional at all levels. Uh, we have a strict code of conduct, our rules, codes of conduct, um, four practices a week required by all of our female members. So we require dedication, devotion, and I think Verizon requires that of its people as well. So again, a perfect match. Hey, so what are your names and your gamer tag? I am Athena Twin PMS, the clan leader at PMS Clan. My name is Daniela, and I'm Gypsy Fly PMS. I am Caitlin, and I am Venus PMS. <laughs> How have your lives changed since you got selected to do this? It's been amazing. Honestly, since we formed uh, Pandora's Mighty Soldiers four years ago, uh, it's been, I, it, we never dreamed this possible. Our group wasn't created for this, and we've kind of learned as we went, and we've evolved out of necessity more so than even really want or anything, um, because you lose a lot of special things that you have when your group is smaller uh, or less known. Um, so we've tried as hard as we can to maintain our purity, I think, and maintain what we are truly here for. Our mission is to provide a fun and competitive environment for women, female gamers. Um, and then now with our H2O division, also the male um, uh, gamers. So, you know, we just want to have a happy place and be online gaming, and, uh, and that's what we try to do. Hey, tell us about CPO and all the awards and glory. Ah, you know what? This was actually some great time because, you know, I'm starting to relish our placements. Uh, it, we've gotten a, a so so much uh, has happened with. I think we've had top five top placements now in main pro tournaments. Uh, we just took second at uh, the CPL VGL actually was hosting it at CPL uh, Gears of War tournament, so that was great. We also had a second place win on Kusami Chan uh, in Dead or Alive. Uh, we've had our Halo team take seventh at WSVG this last year, um, and we took CPL of course the year prior. That was our one of our very first pro tournaments. Um, we both female teams actually placed top eight there. So we're kind of, uh, we're doing what we can, we're, we're pushing it through, we're getting some top eight placements, which is all I could ever want, and uh, our girls try as hard as they can, as best as they can, and I think that's all we can ever ask. So what are we playing now? Gears of War. Oh, Gears of War. No. Well, she's I'm actually PC. the PC gamer, so I'm back on Quake 4 for the new season, so I'll be on that. You can think about Half-Life 2. I love Half-Life 2. It's just like a fun game. You go in there, you know, throw some toilets around. It's the best. It's the best. We love playing it. Awesome. So what's any future plans for PMS Clan? I think uh, in the future, some things that are safe to say, hmm, you're probably going to see a core group of us living in a house together soon. I can't really go into details of that, but, but um, it's going to be very exciting. And then I, I think you're also potentially, we're in the actual final stages of closing a major TV network deal. So that sounds really good. You guys are good up to a lot. So what does it take to get to wear the shirts? Uh, 
and just be a PMS member. <laughs> awesome. All right. All right. We have, uh, yeah, all you got to do is be a PMS member. So some of our girls work the booth. I mean, some people are natural with and gifted with people, and then some people prefer not to do that. But pretty much PMS, PMS. Our youngest is nine. Our oldest is 58, I think. And uh, it's we're a very diverse group. So uh, it's fun, exciting. And if you don't want to wear a shirt, you just got to join PMS. Sounds good. Great attitude, obviously. Based on skill, it's all attitudes. Absolutely. I mean, skill can be worked on. So you also have kind of a strict code of conduct: no nudity, yes. no. Right. Well, because our goal, it, we realize that you know whether or not it's forced or not, we are somewhat of role models to some women gamers, and we take that role very seriously. And in order to do that, we think it needs to be done the right way for respect from the male gamers, and that's what we want more than anything. We're here to compete, just like they are. And if you're showing nudity or being inappropriate, you're not doing the win the right way, and it's not helping women in, in gaming at all. So, you know, if you're a girl gamer, fine, or whatever, but when you're a professional gamer, you act professional. And uh, that's what it's about for us. Cool. Sounds good. All right, all you female gamers out there, this is where you need to be. This is an amazing way to get recognized and play games with some truly kick-ass women.